Yeah, so my name is Mark Wendell. I'm a product manager working on SharePoint Embedded. And today I'm going to show you how you can manage files in your team's applications with SharePoint Embedded. All right, so we'll get started here. Um, but first of all, if you have not yet come across SharePoint Embedded, uh, this talk today is actually a continuation of the series that we've been doing with SharePoint Embedded on these calls. Um, so I would encourage you to you know, catch up on YouTube if you haven't seen the prior calls. But at a high level, if this is the first time you're hearing about SharePoint Embedded, it is an API only kind of headless version of SharePoint that you can have and access in your custom applications. You, uh, by using and building on top of SharePoint Embedded, it creates a dedicated partition in your customer's tenant. Um, and it's a dedicated storage partition and lets you, uh, you know, read and manage files and stuff like that. However, not just basic file uh, management capabilities, but it brings along all of the superpowers that we have within the M365 storage ecosystem to your custom application. So collaboration, security and compliance, integrated content management, uh, AI searching capabilities, and a whole lot more, including Office Collab and, and whatnot. So there's a whole bunch to that product. And in fact, this next slide kind of scratches the surface. I'm not gonna talk about everything that we have in here, but it kind of goes across four buckets um, by building your custom application on SharePoint Embedded, you can get a whole bunch of stuff kind of out of the box. So content AI, security collaboration, and core storage. Uh, all right. So lots of cool stuff in there, but today I want to talk about how you can build, uh, you know, a, a file application, a file experience within your existing or new Microsoft Teams applications and how you can store and manage those files actually within SharePoint Embedded. Um, and, and all of this is kind of in the context of a sample application that is published within the Teams sample app library. Um, and so you can kind of follow along or after the call, if, if you're interested, you can go check out that sample. Everything we talk about today is kind of in the context of that sample app. And so you've got a working sample that shows you exactly how to do this stuff. And that's, uh, that's available at ak.ms slash SBE dash teams. Okay. Now, what does this sample app do? Um, it's a basic teams tab application that lets users create uh, a task and assign it to someone, approve or reject a task assigned to me or assigned to yourself, and then you can view tasks that you've made or tasks that are awaiting your approval. Really simple tab application. Um, in fact, the, that sample existed before SharePoint Embedded and they were using a different store for those, for those tasks. Um, but the new sample, the one that I've linked to and one that thanks Vesa put that in the chat, uh, is is actually storing the content and storing those as files within SharePoint Embedded. And you can install that tab app on a Teams channel, chat, or personal scope. From an architectural perspective, and I just want to cover this before we kind of get into, you know, looking at the app and seeing how it works. Um, each app installation stores tasks in a SharePoint Embedded container. And so uh, for every install, so let, let's say I, you know, installed this on our chat here, or on a different, on, on a particular team that we had, or or just at the personal scope, I installed this tab application. There's there's a container where all of the tasks are stored, and so that's the scope that uh, this this app chose to have. It you can of course have a different information architecture, but at the end of the day, I mean, you need a container within SharePoint Embedded to store files. And again, a container is a lot like a document library in SharePoint, except it's headless, it's API only, and you can store um, and manage files within it. And then a container is created along with the first task. And so I'll show what that looks like, but I just wanted to kind of give you a quick overview of how the sample app works and then the underlying architecture as it relates to SharePoint Embedded. There's another aspect of this app that you won't be able to see from an end user perspective. And this one I think is, is um, pretty interesting. And so when you go look, if you, if you wanna go look at that sample app, um, there's an implementation here that allows you to kind of manage the creation of SharePoint embedded uh, containers and other objects as part of kind of life cycle events of your team's application. Um, and so there's really like an implementation of a lifecycle management of SharePoint Embedded containers in that app. And this is interesting. So 
what you can do is you can set up a subscription on Teams installation related events. And so there are two new events. These are actually not yet available, these events. They're, they're, the development of them is in progress and they are coming very soon. But the new events are Teams app installed event and Teams app removed. And when, when you get notifications on those events, you can actually, you know, basically you get it, you're getting a heads up that your app has been installed on a chat or a team or on some user's personal scope. And when, when those events happen, you can create an associated SharePoint embedded container um, that is specific to your application where you can manage files for that. So depending on what your Teams app is doing, it's a good place for you to be able to manage content within a particular installation of your app. Um, and then, so yeah, when, when it's the app is installed, a container is created, and when it's uh, uninstalled, the container is recycled. Of course, you can uh, choose to restore that container if the app gets kind of reinstalled. Uh, containers live within the recycle bin for 93 days. Okay, so that's that's it for kind of me explaining what this app is um, and some of the architecture. Let's get right into uh, taking a look at how it works. But before we do that, um, I just want to show you what, what happens when you click on that link. So this is the uh, tab request approval app working with SharePoint Embedded. On that page, uh, there's you know a whole bunch of instructions on how to get started with that app. There are kind of two ways. These instructions have you using kind of ngrok to set up um, and you set up on your local development machine. What I have done actually in the sample, just in case you do it yourself and it looks a little bit differently from what you see today, is I am using GitHub code spaces for this. And so I just created a code space on the main branch of this. I found it to be much easier, so I don't actually have to create a dev tunnel or anything like that because GitHub code spaces will create that environment for me. Um, and I get a URL where I can access the link. Okay. Uh, actually, one more thing before I go into showing you how the app is, I have gone through a whole bunch of prerequisite steps to set up the uh, Microsoft Antra app registrations. Now, there's there's a set of steps required to set up um, SharePoint Embedded that I'm not going to cover today, and in fact, we've covered on on previous installments of this series. Uh, so I recommend checking that out. But um, again, link to in the in the GitHub instructions. Uh, there's there's a set of um, additional instructions for setting up SharePoint Embedded for you. But the, the short story here is I have an Entra app for the Teams tab request approval application, and I've got some uh, graph permissions associated with that that lets me um, do stuff within Teams and stuff within SharePoint Embedded. I'm not going to get all the details of that. Okay, so this is what the tab application looks like once it's installed. Um, it's really, you know, a very simple application meant to kind of demonstrate some of the things you can do. I think the code is the most interesting part. Uh, but here we go. I can create tasks. And so, like, this is effectively creating a task. It has a title description. I can assign it to someone. Um, I can view requests associated with that. So, like, if I create a task, it'll show up here. And then I can look at approvals that are pending action on me. So, really straightforward in terms of what this application does. The, the thing of note here is that these tasks are actually stored as file objects within SharePoint embedded containers. And so this particular chat has this tab application installed on it. And there is an associated SharePoint embedded container under the hood there. And all of the tasks are created within that. And so this, when you when you you know integrate SharePoint embedded with with Teams applications, it gives you a good place to store files. And so I will make uh, you know a demo task here, and I can uh, assign it to a user. And when I do that, send the request. Um, I believe I need to reload the tab here, and it should show up. So we should be able to see. Um, this demo task that we created. So really straightforward uh, what this task does um, or what this sample application does. The last thing I'll show you when I'm when we're looking at the app and then I'll kind of get into some of the code to show you how this works. Actually go over here. Um, um, it, there's nothing interesting particular to show. Like I said, these events that I was talking about that um, your, your Teams application can subscribe to, which is when an app is installed and when an app is removed, they're not yet implemented. And so we're just kind of uh, mocking it right now by putting those events in the chat. 
But again, like I said, very soon these events are going to be there. So you're going to be able to subscribe to it independent of SharePoint Embedded. You can subscribe to when your app is installed or removed. Uh, but the, the neat thing about that when it comes to SharePoint Embedded is that you can use that for lifecycle management of containers. And so you can kind of manage the content of your Teams tab application or other type of Teams application, uh, manage the content within SharePoint Embedded. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to pop over quickly over to uh, Visual Studio Code uh, just to show you how this stuff works. Now, I mentioned um, I have this in uh, a GitHub code space. If you haven't used it yet, I highly recommend doing it that way. Um, all I did was create a code space based off of the main branch of the entire Teams sample app repository. Um, and then once you do that, uh, you know, there's a whole bunch of stuff that you get. First of all, you can kind of not use resources on your machine, but you also get the ability to kind of get a URL where that, that is hosted. And so when you run your app, you can go visit that, which is what I'm doing here. Um, and port forwarding and things like that are happening automatically. Um, but, but looking at this, just looking at some of the code here, what's happening when I showed you, so I created a task um, and ultimately on the server side, when that gets created, um, it is calling this function in request provider. And effectively, it is really straightforward. It's getting a graph access token. Um, it is getting a container for that particular installation. Um, and if one does not exist, it's going to create or get it. Um, and so we get a container object either way. It's creating a SharePoint embedded container. And then it is taking that task that we created, so the just the title and the description, who is assigned to. Um, it's creating a stream object and creating a file for that within SharePoint Embedded. So really straightforward there. Um, if we look at the container provider, uh, creating or getting a container async, um, all that is doing is like, if we don't have a container already, it's creating one. This is what the request looks like. I know we've covered it in prior sessions. Uh, but if you haven't seen it yet, it, you create a container. It has a display name, a description, a container type ID, um, and you send that request off to the new containers API, also available on Graph. It'll create a container, which again is just a place for you to put files. Um, and then after that, we are creating that file, um, and that is getting created as a JSON file, and it's getting stored in the container. So. Really straightforward. Um, again, if you haven't if you haven't had a chance to look at that team sample app, I recommend that you go do that. Um, that's it in terms of you know managing files and Teams applications with SharePoint embedded and building on top of that. And one quick plug: if you happen to be fortunate enough to be going to the M65 conference that's happening next week, I will be doing a SharePoint embedded session there on Wednesday, I think at 2 p.m. local time. So if this sounds interesting to you or SharePoint embedded in general, be sure to check that session out. Thank you very much for your time today. And that's it for me.